Do you store logs in JSON inside Azure Data Storage? And now you need to search in them? But they are structured in different folders with five minute increments? Don't worry, today I will show you how to search your data with Azure Data Explorer. Together we will create a cluster and upload our data inside database. The best thing, you don't need to pay for the database. Microsoft offers free cluster to explore your data and we will use that. Fill out your cluster display name and your database name first. By the way, you will find link to this page in the description. All right, once you have the names, be careful with the location. If you are doing this for the production environment, don't let the user data leave to different continent. I will leave it to Europe and agree with the terms of service. All that is left to do is to sign in with your Azure account to create free cluster. Shortly after, you will be moved to this Azure Data Explorer homepage. All right, now that we have the cluster, the next thing we need to do is to ingest the data from the Azure Storage account. So let's move to the Azure portal next. In the portal, I will locate the storage account that I'm interested in. So let's search for the storage accounts. I have one here called Basic Logs Demo. From here, we will move to containers. With Azure, your logs are stored into different containers based on specific service. For this demo, I will select Inside Logs for Analytics. Double click on that and from here select Shared Access Tokens on the left bar. This will allow us to create a time limited token which we will later use to access the data inside our storage account. One thing we will do is to adjust permissions and add list as well. And that's basically it. You can change expiration time for the token itself, but for our purposes, it's fine. Go on and generate the token. Once you click on it, two links will be provided to you. One is for the token itself and the longer version has storage account URL inside as well. Make sure to copy Blob Shared Access Token URL. Once you have it, we will move back to Azure Data Explorer and ingest data inside our database. On the home page, you should see under Action section, option to ingest data right over here. We will select it and fill out the table name. Sentinel Health is the most appropriate here for me. And move to the next page. Now we have to specify source for our data. In this case, we are using container inside Azure. Click on drop down window for source type and change it to block container. This will change the window and provide you with more options. This is very important one. If you have petabytes of data inside your storage account, you will have to use light ingest tool. It's an official tool that allows you to ingest large data set without any time limitations. We will keep it to one time only as I have only several blobs inside. The only thing that needs to be added is the token URL that we have copied earlier. So paste it inside the link to source field. And that's basically it. But since inside, you can select which file to use for the table schema. Since all the files inside have the same structure, we don't have to change it. Instead, we can move to the schema itself. This is how the table will look like. But before we confirm and start ingesting the data, there is also another way which we could have selected. If I go back, you have the option to select container instead. In this case, you can directly select your storage account and container here if you are working from the same Azure environment. It's very straightforward. Just select them from drop down menus and the same files will be presented to you. We can move to schema next and start the ingestion process. This will take a while and it will depend on the amount of blobs you have inside your storage account. For me, it was maybe about two minutes and I have 70 blobs inside. After the ingestion is finished, you should see data preview. To access them and search inside them, you will have to select query option on the left. 
You should see something similar. Cluster named my free cluster with the database inside. If you select the database, you should see your table inside with all the columns defined. You can double click on the table and write KQL queries as you would in the Logs Analytics workspace. Let's limit the results to 100 entries and run the query with Shift plus Enter. And here you go, all the logs are presented to us in a structured format. If you are looking for specific record inside your data, you can use KQL and filter your data based on that. Very fast and simple way to search inside your Azure storage account. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.